Good evening. Good evening, guys. Hi, Damaris, Ezequiel. Good evening, Mauricio. Hi. Good evening. Hello, How are teacher. You? Good, evening. Good evening. How are you doing, guys? I'm okay, teacher. Are you home already? Yes, teacher. I'm here. Ah, I just okay. No. Home. Yes. Ah, okay. No rehearsal today? No practice? No, no. Today is the, the concert. Oh, are you having a concert today? So, sorry, tomorrow. Show me tomorrow. Ah, okay. I thought you tomorrow. I mean, today you were presenting or something. Yes. What are you presenting? Ah, uh, in Santa Rosa de Lima. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you said that is in La Union, right? Uh huh. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. So, what are you playing? What kind of music are you playing? Sorry, Miss. What kind of music are you playing? Uh, alternative rock, uh, something like that. Do you give this kind of tributos or like one artist concert? Uh, no, it's an, uh, um, they should be celebrating, I don't know, Fiesta de Fin de Año, como dice? Like the end of the year party. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. And they okay. invite us. 
Yes. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. So free food. <laughs> okay. Can you sing right now? Ah, that's a good question because I know he can play, but can you sing too? Uh, yes. Are you the, the voice, the, the leading voice? No, no, teacher. You're not? No. Mm, okay, okay. No, but that sounds all right. Sounds actually pretty nice. Um, <laughs> so the best of luck. I hope your presentation or your like uh, play goes nicely. So that's really good. Hi guys. Hi Georgina. Good evening. Julio Cesar. Good evening. Hi Denora. Good evening. Hi Tisha. Thank you for joining guys. How you doing? Well, in the Maris, I see you're home. So that is really good. I'm glad to see you're home already. Yes, teacher. I am here. Okay. So no late, no working late tonight? Yes. Um, two? I salí a las dos, teacher. Ah, you finished working at two. Yes. Oh, but what time did you start? Um, six o'clock. Six in the morning. Super in the morning. Early. Yes. Okay. Really yes. early. All right. Well, but but the good thing is that you are already home resting. I believe. Uh, yes, weekends are gonna be kind of hail. <laughs> okay, but the best of luck as well. Uh, Abigail, good evening, good to see you. Hi, George. Good evening, Jorge. Thank you so much for joining too. Thank you, Andrea. All right, guys. Um, so thank you so much for joining. We are having today's session number nine. Um, the and we are going to be like that. We'll check in just some vocabulary and giving instructions. We are going to prepare a little presentation. Um, because so far, we haven't heard you like for a long period of time. So I have heard you probably for 10 seconds. And I would definitely like to listen to everybody or to listen to everybody's voice for a longer period of time. So we're gonna like prepare some presentations in some minutes, but I'm gonna let you know how to do it. To get started, guys, I got this little, uh, I got some pictures for you. I don't know if you remember any of these items. I don't know if they bring memories back to you. Um, but guys, do you remember first? Well, obviously you have a knife on there. <laughs> but what about the others? Do you remember how you call them? Do you remember their names? Okay. Or how to use them? Nokia. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a Nokia. Do you remember what it is? What this subject is? Máquina de escribir, teacher. Mm, okay, so that's a typewriter. Mecanografía. Ah, okay, yeah, and those classes, typewriter. Okay, so that's a, a typewriter, okay. Um, you got also a cassette. You got the Nokia, like the very first phones we got. And what do you, do you remember this one? Do you remember the Walkman? Did you ever have a Walkman, guys? A Walkman. I have a uh -huh. Walkman. Did with, you have one? With, uh, I, I have 13 years, more or less. You were 13. My father wow. both, yeah. And you, did you carry like a Walkman with you? Do you remember how heavy those things were? What memories, guys? What memories um, do these objects bring back to you? What memories come to your mind with the cassette? What do you remember? Or how to use the typewriter? I am pretty sure some people don't remember. Uh, guys, who is the youngest? Wait. My earphones are kind of giving me some issues here. Guys, ¿quién es el más joven? Who is the youngest of the group? Tal vez Georgina, digo yo. Georgina. Georgina, how old are you? 
I mean, because ustedes han estado más tiempo juntos. You've been together like for a little longer. So you kind of have an idea. <clears throat> hi, Kenya. Good evening. Um, hi, Mr. Sanchez. Good evening. So who is the youngest? Georgina, how old are you? May I ask? Nobody is 18, right? Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi, Miss. Um, a uh, quick question. Are you familiar with these objects? Uh, yes. Are you under 20? Es menor de los 20. Are you under 20? No. No. Under 30? Or are you in your 30s? Mm. Le pregunté si tenía menos de 30 o oh, estaba en los 30. Uh, menos de 30. Ok. Who's the youngest? Ok. Nobody is 18 and 19. Well, es que creo que nos faltan. I think we are missing Noé. I'm not sure, but I got the idea that Noé may be young. Mm, who else? Who else? Who else? Probably. Uh -huh. How old are you guys? Are you in your 30s? Are you in your 40s? Are you in your I am 20s? In 20s. 20s. 27. Oh, no, you're in your 20s. Okay. What about the rest? 20s, 30s, or 40s, or 50s? <laughs> like, uh, just not to ask your age directly. <laughs> so, are you in your 20s? Están sus 20, guys? Are you in your 20s? In your 30s? Yeah. In your 40s? I am 33 years old, teacher. Ah, okay. So you're in your 30s. All right. Well, me too. I am in my in my 30s. So I am in my early 30s. Okay. No, I think we are kind of familiar with this. Okay, guys. So what do you use the objects for? ¿Cómo se usan, guys? O ¿Cómo se usaban? How do you use them? ¿Y para qué se usaban? How, what, what do you use them for? Okay. Uh, what about recording? How did you record uh, in a cassette? Uh, mm. Para grabar no. las canciones de la radio, teacher. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, exactly, exactly. So, how? How did you record? ¿Cómo se grababa, guys? How did you record? Es que, guys, I'm going to be super honest. Probably para nosotros, es, ah, this is so common, si yo me acuerdo. But I'm sure, I'm really sure, algunas personas no recuerdan or they don't really know how to use them. I was watching a YouTube a video and people in the 20s no saben para qué se usan or they didn't know. For example, in a Nokia, guys, ¿cómo se llamaba? How do you call a person? O cómo se mandaban mensajes. Because now in your phone, ah, you have all the letters, like A, B, C, D, E. Do you remember in Anokia how to send a message? Yes. How to type? I mean, that was difficult. Tenía okay. que, que calcular el número de, de, de letras que enviaba, porque si se pasaba de, de uno, de un, de un texto, ya le cobraban dos mensajes. Okay, okay, that was one of the things. <laughs> okay, now let's try to say that in English. So how can we say that in English? <laughs> okay. Aha, uh -huh, guys, so tell us, tell us. Yes? I heard somebody's oh. voice. Yes, Mauricio? Uh, I use... Uh... Uh, telegrama, como se dice en inglés? What do you say? Oh my God, a telegram. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you the, sent a telegram. Did you all, receive? All, all the, all the partner in this class <laughs> are a baby for me. <laughs> because I have a 62 year old. Oh, you're in your 50s. Yeah. 
Ah, I, okay. I use or the picture. Okay, tell us about what, what do you remember about old uh, technology? The uh, technology the, the first the cassettes input mm -hmm. in in the the cassettera. Mm -hmm. In what? the room. In, in the, the room. The, Mm -hmm. That's like a CD room. Yeah. So like then a room. close, mm -hmm. close up in the <laughs> the the room. See, close the 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 room, and then uh, push record, mm -hmm. start okay. record, uh, record. Okay. Uh, <laughs> music or interview. Yes, and I remember when there was no internet that we prayed, especially when we knew that a nice song was coming. So we prayed that, yeah. the, that the person on the other side in the radio was not talking, you know, <laughs> just yeah. to record it. Yeah, that's right. Guys, what memories do you have? Thank you, Mauri. It's a very nice way to explain the process. Exactly. Uh, uh, uh -huh. When I start uh, uh, the first cellular mm -hmm. uh, was mm -hmm. very big. Yeah. <laughs> What was your first Pare, cell phone? Pare, parecía ladrillo de esa cosa que andaba yeah, uno cargando. Yeah, actually, les llamaba ladrillos. They were called uh, <laughs> bricks, right? With a big antenna. So, and there was no sign. So, guys, did you ever climb a tree? ¿Quiénes se recuerdan alguna vez se subieron a un árbol? Did you ever climb a tree to get mm. some um, sign? No, teacher. In my no. case, I, I had my first uh, telephone when I was uh, 18. You were 18. What was your first cell phone? It was like a block. <laughs> but, but, but what was like, like, oh, like a brick. Mm -hmm. I had like a bridge. I had, um, uh, I remember. It was a Motorola. Ah, but it was a Motorola. Okay, wait, but was that like the Motorola that you had to open, like a little cover, a little lid, so you speak a spoke and, and the antenna up to, or was it more modern? <laughs> no, teacher, not like that. Not really, okay. Yeah, that was the first cell phone that uh, came into the country. Ah, okay, so you had a Motorola. All right. What do you remember about your cell phone? Was it heavy or was it just big? Was the cell phone heavy or big? Or both, big and heavy? Uh, Julio? Tell us, cuéntanos, tell us, tell us. Uh, Julio? I'm hola, sorry. Hola. Hi, hi. Nos hi. escucha. Can you hear, can you listen to us? Nos escucha. No. Yeah, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Nice, nice. I can hear you too. So, ¿qué memorias <laughs> tiene? What memories do you have? The first cell phone for mm -hmm. me is uh, the buff is like brick uh -huh. and very heavy. Okay. How old were you? How old when you were you when you had your first cell phone? So how 20, old? Twenty two years. Ah, okay, okay. So it was big. It was heavy. Okay. Was it a Motorola too? I'm, I'm not sure, but I mm -hmm. think so, Nokia. Ah, Nokia, so it was the friend already. Okay, okay. What about these items? Did you use these items? Did you have a Walkman? 
Yes, I have. Okay, what do you remember about Walkmax? Uh, it's a... Uh, an... Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I quiet, I muted you by accident. Please tell us. Okay. I remember it's very nice uh -huh. because you came uh, with a uh, whole place, mm -hmm. wherever you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's complicated with you need to uh, more tape sometimes. Uh, more tape, like, well, like more cassettes? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, what about a disc man? Do you remember this man too? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I think so it's better because the CD had more capacity mm -hmm. for the more sound. Ah, okay, very nice. Julio, I'm super happy to hear you. <laughs> Me alegre escucharlo. I haven't had the opportunity, I think, de escucharlo, like, like to give opinions. Really nice. Okay, great, great. Yeah, that sounds good. So, guys, we have here, like, Walkman, uh, these men, right? Um, I think they were super heavy, and I see that in the chat. Somebody shared the first cell phone. It says SI. Um, ah, the Motorola. So, yeah, that, they were super famous. Okay, okay, okay. Sounds good. Now, guys, what about a typewriter? Nobody has talked about a typewriter. Uh, so, just Mauricio mentioned the telegrams. Or the oh guys, I don't I don't know if you ever use a phone booth. Guys, did you ever use a phone booth or did you ever use or did you go to until like oh my god, we're talking mm. about like all things. Teacher, when yeah? when I when I uh, has um, nine or ten years old. Mm -hmm. my, my father lived in San Salvador and my mother here in Santa Ana. And ah, then okay. when I, in my vacation mm -hmm. for the, um, the um, before my class in mm -hmm. December, for example, I, 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 I went to my father mm -hmm. in, his, in his house and I call my mom okay. in a hotel office oh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. i i went uh, you 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 uh, have a um a phone call mm -hmm. uh, um a per, uh, in this place uh, that a person uh, type the number and mm -hmm. a big phone and you wow. enter the cabin, cabin? Mm -hmm. oh, and... Yeah, actually it is a, a booth. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. A and, booth. And the phone uh, sound, mm -hmm. and then you uh, take the phone and, mm -hmm. and, and you uh, start the, the, the phone call. The call, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is a uh, very uh, large and I, I I don't know what do you say engorroso. Um, actually complicated. Yes, um, a, a complicated yeah, process. Yes. Yeah, but I I remember I used the hotel office. Yes, me too. You know, the until office is like 10 meters away from my house. No, maybe 20 meters away from my house. So when my mother had a call, the guy from the until office came running to my house. And they were like, hey, you have a phone call. <laughs> and my mom went running to pick it up. It was super funny. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of things that have changed. The I Teacher, uh -huh. uh, sorry. Yes. Uh, oh, yes, 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 tell us. Tocadisco. Ah, I the vinyl. So, so the vinyl players. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, for the my vinyl? father, my father has 
uh, the collection for the long of place vinyl like yeah. vinyl things yeah. oh okay and and i remember uh, uh, he uh, listened this uh, the, the music when in this uh, the tocadisco in mm -hmm. this it is a it is a vinyl record player mm -hmm. okay oh I, I never saw them, you know, um, I never used them, I think. But guys, tell us, Mauricio, eh, he told us that we are babies. So Mauricio, <laughs> tell us about those ones. Did you ever use a, like a vinyl player? One of these vinyl desks? Do you have some? Did you collect some? Guys, what about the rest? Dinora, Salvador, sure. Juanjo. Yes, yes, miss. In my case, I remember mm -hmm. uh, when uh, when was started the high school, I did have uh, uh, two class of mechanography. Ah, okay, typing. Yes. So you had typing uh, class. Yes. Oh. Do you uh, study the in Spanish option secretariado? <laughs> no, contador. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Um, we did use uh, the type. Mm -hmm. Type. Type. Okay. Type right. Yes. So you yeah. type right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I remember too. I I have that. Cassette. Uh, uh huh. Um, a lot of cassette, and uh -huh. I put on the re radio, and okay. I, I did, I did go on to listen, listen the music. But today oh. I don't have. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that they are not common anymore, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. The last time I used a cassette was like 10 years ago. And yes. 10 years ago, they were very expensive. So <laughs> I don't mm. think people use them anymore. Uh-huh. Yes. We have a cell phone, so yeah, nobody cares anymore. No. Okay, okay, thank you. That's really nice. Yeah, inter yeah. interesting the the picture for the remember and um, the past <laughs> yes i mean i i found it and i was like what let's see if the guys can explain how to use these objects <laughs> yes. okay. to guys, remember uh -huh. um, I, I remember too with my mother went to the until ah, okay and my, my mother my mother was called to my brother in the United or uh, mm. my mother wa was called uh, to other family family mm -hmm. in the um, San Salvador because mm -hmm. we we live in La Unión wow you lived far away so it was yeah. faster right yeah it was definitely faster okay um now that the uh, mentioned this um like um how can we call it like the distance right between one place and another maurito do you remember um how long did the telegram take to arrive to the destination one week, one month. Guys, did you ever send a telegram? No. I I use a telegram. How long did it take? Cuánto tiempo tomaba? How long did it take? Mm -hmm. it, uh, How long did it take to arrive? Uh, more or less. Uh, the five, 10 minutes. A telegram. Telegram. 
Ah, ok. Five to ten minutes is ok. Very, very easy. Fast, Be too. Because, because uh, mm -hmm. uh, use a, a word short for short ah, word. Yes. Uh, like only necessary words. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I never sent a telegram, so I don't remember that part, but sounds fast in that case. Already. Thank you so much, guys, for telling us a little bit about your previous experiences. Um, so um, we are going to try to give some like explanation here, super quick. And guys, I have a little exercise for you using these pictures. Number one, I want you to tell us how to record a song using a cassette, right? What yeah. do you remember how to record a song? Second thing, guys, how to send a text message, how to send a text message using a Nokia. Um, but these all Nokia, right? So seeing the ones that don't have like touch screen, like these super old fashioned in Nokia. Uh, the next one, guys, is I want you to tell us how to change uh, the ink in the typewriter. So uh, it's a sort of ink cartridge. Cartridge, cartridge, cartridge. Wait, I'm missing one letter. Cartridge. Give me one second. So cartridges. Mm, okay, it's a ribbon. How to change the in ribbon, right? How to change the in ribbon in the typewriter. Okay, typewriter. Okay, guys, so I'm going to give you like five minutes. Okay, you can select one. So you can select only one out of three. So how to record a song. Que recuerden? What do you remember? What are the steps? Two, how to send a text message using a Nokia. Remember, this Nokia is not the current Nokia, eh, you know, que tiene uh, reconocimiento facial. <laughs> no sé si se recuerdan, guys. I don't know if you remember this Nokia. Uh, obviously, no se escribe A, B, C, D, E, no. So how do you send a, te a text message using a Nokia? And the last one, how to change the ink ribbon. If you remember, segunda vez usaron a typewriter, tenía dos colores. It had two colors, black and red. And there was like a, like a circle, like a ribbon, right? ¿Cómo se cambiaba? How did you change it? Ay, se me olvidó cuando se atascaba todo. You know? <laughs> like everything got stuck. Okay, let's see if you remember. I'll give you five minutes. Select one. Try to remember. And if you don't remember, Piden la ayuda, guys, a quien tengan in your house. Probably if it's your mom, your dad, your wife, your husband, probably they kind of remember so they can help you. So five minutes. <clears throat> Only one teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes, only one. But if you want to write about the three of them, no problem. <laughs> I don't have any issue, but only one. Only one is good.
Um, if there are words that you don't know how to say, you can always um, check your dictionary. You can double check, right? Just to make sure we got it. Oh, guys, are we ready? Are you kind of ready? Did you select okay. one? Okay, very nice. Very so what do you have, guys? Tell us, tell us about who has, how to record a song, who wrote about uh, how to record a song. Nobody? No. <laughs> Nobody mm. remembers? Teacher, I yes? I I use the type of white. Ah, the typewriter. Yeah. Okay. When Tell when us. I when I was no longer painting, mm -hmm. I changed the tape and we made mistake. Mm -hmm. I use correction paper. Papelito correction de, paper. Yeah, unos papelitos. Eh, que tenían pintura blanca y lo ah, poníamos yes. y yes yeah. yeah you're right yeah. it was yeah. not a uh, um it was not a correction pen right yeah but it yeah. was like a like a, like uh, a sheet 
like a stripe, como una línea, kind of a white line. Uh, I, think? It, I don't it, remember. Is a uh, paper very small. Mm -hmm. uh, put a uh, paper on, on top. the letter. Mm -hmm. Y click mm -hmm. y the picture el, the mistake mm -hmm. letter mm -hmm. quedaba pegado en el papel mm -hmm. y ya quedaba yeah. pintado de blanco like it was on top of the mistake yeah. that yeah, yeah you're right you're right I forgot about it yeah okay then I keep writing mm -hmm. then I kept writing the love letter. Mm -hmm. Okay. The love yeah. letter. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you did it like, you type write it, those, you type eh, wrote them. <laughs> a, había momentos de tanto uso de las máquinas eh, when the letter were delivered from the cable, okay. we put, we put tiro and wrote the letter eh, para poder seguir escribiendo porque te borraban las letras del teclado y poníamos tirro. Really? Ya, y le poníamos oh. con lapicero la letra. Como uno no se sabía el teclado completamente. Ah, you mean like in the, in the keyboard. Ya, ah, yes, keyboard. yes, yes, that's right. Because of the use, exactly. So um, they were erased. Okay, thank you so much for bringing those those hacks. Okay. <laughs> but yes, I forgot yeah. about them. Guys, what else can you tell us? Does anybody have like how to change the in reborn? Do you have a how to send a text message using a Nokia? How to record a song? Tienen alguna, guys? Do you have any of those? Sure. Mm -hmm. I write the following. Okay. Um, the question how to send a text message using a Nokia. Um, first, to enter the icon of message mm -hmm. after press the K until to for the word do you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and when do you have around 100 words? You mm -hmm. You send a message. Okay. I think. <laughs> uh, no, that's nice. Yeah, you have to push, right? Like uh, one push. key, as okay. you said. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Yeah. And and you have to count them. You have to be super specific. Otherwise, as the Mari said, you need to pay, you needed to pay for another text message. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice, nice. Guys, anybody else? Teacher. Yes, Hector. Hi, Hector. Good evening. Uh, thank you. Uh, I I only remember the Nokia give me the clock. The clock. Nokia when the Nokia give me give me the clock. The the hour the hour. Ah, okay. O only remember this mm. when uh, but, when I uh -huh. use. When, when I when I use the Nokia mm -hmm. cellular, but phones. I'm sorry, I don't I don't get the idea. So what you say the Nokia gave you the time? Yes, uh, only remember this. Mm -hmm. No sé si usted recuerda que no. le petaba un grito y decía la hora es. Really? No, I don't remember. I didn't have a Nokia. No I had classic. a Motorola. <laughs> My phone no was on. A... Oh, okay, okay. So you got like in you got the time in a speaker. So lo decía yes. en voz alta. So you got it in a speaker. Yes. Ah, okay. No, I don't remember. Guys, do you remember? I just remember yes. the Motorola. Yes. 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 Yes.
And you remember the game. <laughs> okay. I, wow. I, re I, I remember because I, I don't buy a clock. Ah, so you just press the key and you got the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Wow, really useful. Really useful indeed. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. As you can see, today we are talking about like some process and some instructions. Let's move on a little bit, guys, and let's go to your material. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's go to page numbered. Um, one second. Let's go to page numbered number 27 and guys in number 27 we have a little reading about directions and instructions actually directions and instructions is related to steps and everything so look at the following uh page number 27 guys here you have read the following article about giving instructions to a staff for example, imagine that you want to tell them, hey, okay, please use this typewriter. Y va a hacer esto y esto. So um, here comes the moment in which we need to give instructions, right? So, but we have a little reading and it says, uh, check some characteristics or some tips how to give instructions. And here we have number one, don't, don't assume they know what you mean. Be clear and specific. Give time frames. Give examples. So um, if you work with some subordinates, I am sure this is what you do. But uh, before moving on, I'm going to give you some minutes, guys. Um, I want you to first identify the words that you don't know from the text. I want you to identify the words that are new. And second, try to understand, try to get the main idea from this text. All right, so first guys, underline new vocabulary, underline new words. And second, get the main idea of the text, all right? I'll give you five minutes, guys. Let's wait a dark cinco minutitos. I'll give you five minutes. Para que lo lean, identifiquen si conocen eh, la mayoría de palabras. Siempre hay palabras que no conocemos, pero algunas son importantes, otras no son tan importantes. Si entienden la idea completa, mmm, algunas palabras entonces no son relevantes. But, for, exa for example, si estoy leyendo acá, be clear in specific, y no entiendo toda la primera parte. Ah, entonces sí hay palabras que son importantes. And I need to look for the meaning of those, okay? So we have two things, guys. Tenemos cinco minutos. We have five minutes to do that. Um, five minutes, guys. Let's go for it.
acompaña el programa original de Luis Torres Fernández. Roberto, sí, Ahí está la madre, 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 la madre
One more minute, guys, so everybody can be ready. <coughs> Thank you. 
Hey guys, so let's go over um just vocabulary. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so let's go over the vocabulary that may be new. Um, is there any word like in paragraph number one that is kind of new for you? Teacher. Uh, yes. <laughs> I I don't know uh, which W H I S T. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, okay. Okay, okay. But did you understand like the full idea? Mm, so, so. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Be That's because, okay. Because um, mm -hmm. there, there are, mm, there are um, many words are new for me. Ah, okay, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. But some words are important and some words can be kind of new. So let's go over the words that you may know okay. or the ones that are important. Mm -hmm. Some words, uh, there is always vocabulary that is new to us. So no worries, no worries. Okay, um, guys, number one, do, do you understand the idea number one? Don't assume they know what you mean. Estamos hablando de instrucciones, right? So estamos hablando de cómo dar instrucciones a los miembros de su grupo, like to your staff. Guys, del para, de, uh, from paragraph number one, del número uno, que logran entender. What do you understand? You can say it in Spanish, that's okay. Or if you can give it in English, that's even better. Teacher, for example, sometimes uh, we... Uh, we can't uh, uh, give the instruction for the people or or the colleagues or in your family. Uh, okay. Then um, we have in, in this paragraph uh, explain, uh, for example, when I 
assumption that other people uh, know knows uh, that I think uh, um, uh, sometimes uh, we think that other people uh, knows uh, what I uh, want to say that I I want. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, when I uh, give the instruction, uh, I I be mm, yeah, yeah I be clear because mm -hmm. um, the people don't know. Uh, in this paragraph, says the people don't um, can. Um, read your mind. Yes, read, read mm -hmm. your mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's totally right. In, we in are like. Explain. We, uh -huh. it's, it's a mistake. And it's, it's really. I, I in, 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 in a moment, I, I uh, think that my co workers uh, know that. What you I want think, to say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that is very common, right? Not just for you. I guess it's just super common for everybody. Yeah. Um, so we mm -hmm. assume, as you said. And so the word here we have is the assumption is the mother of all mistakes. So it's because we assume, nosotros asumimos, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, very nice, really, really good. And you said it is a mistake. Uh, number two, guys, we have be clear and specific. Did you find any word in number two? Or what do you understand from number two? The second, guys. Remember, algunas palabras, mm, quizás no sean tan importantes traducirlas. Siempre cuando ustedes entiendan la idea completa, estamos bien. We are good. Um, for example, algo que sí es importante es tenemos switch. Wait, switch on en el primer párrafo y Teacher. luego tenemos switch off. Yes. Um, w H I L S T. Mm -hmm. Whilst. Whilst. Mm, actually, es más un while, como mientras, right? Suena más como un while. While or mientras, but yes, that's the word. Okay, teacher. Porque aparece nuevamente en el párrafo dos. You can see that again in paragraph number two. Okay. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Well, paragraph two. ¿Qué logran comprender? What do you understand when, from the first? From the second? When, uh, when I give a instruction, be clear and specific. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, I want ensure the mm -hmm. instructions are clear. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. Exactly. So, tenemos la palabra que Mauricio acaba de mencionar that is really important, que es ensure, asegurarse, right? So, ensure. And lo hacemos para evitar misunderstandings. Guys, uh, a misunderstanding es un malentendido, right? Que entendamos la información incorrecta o que entendamos algo que no es. So, whenever we understand things que no son así, things that are not that way. Already, so we have misunderstand, we have ensured, we have switch off, we have switch on. Very nice job, Mauricio, with the description. Guys, vamos con el tercero. Give time frames. Es en palabras bien importantes. So time frame. Uh, what is time frame, guys? ¿A qué se refiere time frame? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so time oh, fragmento, frame. fragmento de tiempo, teacher. Fragmento de tiempo, yeah, it could be time frame. Es como un tiempo estimado, right? Um, so, for example, cuando ustedes le dan un proyecto, I believe, su jefe les dice, tienen dos semanas. That is your time frame. Es el tiempo estimado en el que usted debe completar una actividad. 
So look at this. It says, don't confuse matters by not being specific with your time frame and deadlines. Esa palabra es super importante. Deadlines. Guys, what is a deadline? Deadline. Deadline. ¿Alguna vez la han escuchado? Línea de tiempo. Línea de tiempo, casi. Olmos, olmos. En nuestro salvadoreño, ¿cómo lo traducirían? Delineado. Por mí, deadline es eh, como eh, la, eh, la fecha límite. Es... Yes, exactly, exactly. So, deadline es deadline. la fecha límite, yes. So, deadline, when your boss deadline. tells you, uh -huh. hey, tiene que entregar esto mañana, that's your deadline. Ya no hay más tiempo, right? Se acabó el tiempo. So, that is why I give time frames. Don't confuse matters. By not being specific with your time frames and deadlines, what you consider as soon may be different from your colleagues. It is saying plazo. Mm -hmm. It eh, is saying plazo. Plazo sería time frame. Esto de, okay. mm, perdón. Eso de que okay. time frame sería el plazo, el tiempo estipulado, okay. pero deadline es el último día para entregar algo. Día. Okay. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, si hablamos de la renta, guys, when is the deadline? April 31st, el último día de abril, right? So, yeah. Yeah. April 31st, ese es el deadline. Uh, okay. Por ejemplo, si tenemos pagos de tarjetas, el banco de ahí se tiene hasta tal fecha. <laughs> so, that is our deadline. Fecha límite de algo. En el plazo, el tiempo estimado, es el time frame. Mm -hmm. That's the one. So this is why las instrucciones are very important. Que mencionemos deadlines and time frames. Okay. Uh, vamos con la siguiente. Give examples. Mm, ¿Se comprende la parte de give examples? Do you understand this part? Yes. Yeah, right. No new vocabulary. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, guys, vocabulario es súper importante que vamos a ver in this text. Y que lo van a utilizar at work or whenever you got a chance. Son esas palabras. Voy a agregar acá. Assume. I'm going to include misunderstand, ensure, deadline, and había otra por ahí that is really important. One second. Encontraron otra, guys, that is important. Mm, and mistakes. I would say pretty much those are the most important words that we have over here. Okay, people. So. Vamos a trabajar un poquito con este vocabulario. Let's work a little bit with this vocabulary. Eh, ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Guys, really quick. Escribamos un ejemplo. Write an example con cada una de esas palabras. I'm sorry. Assume me le falta una letra. So, for example, assume. ¿Qué es assume? Asumir. Que doy algo por sentado y no pregunto, right? Misunderstand. What is misunderstand? Que entiendo mal algo. Mi jefe me dice, lo quiero, tan, eh, eh, es importante, pero eh, tenés tiempo, you know? Y yo le entiendo y que, que no es necesario que lo haga para ahora, ni para mañana, sino para un mes. So, eso es como un misunderstanding, un malentendido, right? Insured. What is insured, guys? Lo tenemos acá en la lectura de clear and specific. So, insured es asegurarse. Look, mm, give me one second, la tenemos acá. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear. Usted quiere asegurarse, right? Ensure, you need to ensure about that. Eh, deadline, dijimos que era fecha límite. En mistakes son los errores que cometemos, right? For example, assume. ¿Qué ejemplo puedo escribir con assume? I try, um, I make a lot of mistakes. So I make a lot of mistakes because I assume and I don't ask. So because I assume and I don't ask. Oh, okay. So ya lo tengo super claro. And la idea es que escriban un ejemplo que luego al leerlo ustedes se recuerde qué significa, right? Because de lo contrario el vocabulario se nos va a ir olvidando y no lo vamos a utilizar. So guys, I'll give you five more minutes. Escribamos un ejemplo con cada uno de ellos, please. Let's write an example with these words. Una oración de la que ustedes se recuerden. One sentence you remember, please. Five minutes.
preguntas con el vocabulario, guys. Do you have an equation aparte de um, whilst? Que creo que es la palabra que más se ve repetida here. Two more minutes, guys, or if you finish earlier, let me know. <clears throat>
Uh, guys, are you ready? Um, are you almost ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. So let's take a look super quick. Um, assume, can you give us an example using assume, guys? Teacher. Hello. For me, I am assume that check is for tomorrow. I am, okay, okay, okay. Solo quítenme el um. I assume, uh -huh, so, or I am assuming. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. I, I have assume. a problem with I my teacher because. I have a problem with my? With my teacher because I assume that she mm -hmm. teach me. I am having a problem with my teacher because I assume. And what is the problem? <laughs> I mean, grammatically talking is fine, but I'm like, okay. <laughs> because because I assume that mm -hmm. she teach me. Mm -hmm. That she teach me. Okay. Uh, I mean, grammatically, so grammatically talk, uh, talking is fine. Uh, but I assume, uh -huh, but cre creo que necesito más contexto. I just need like a little bit more context. Porque la idea es, you know, que um, vea la palabra en el futuro and you see the word and you understand what it is. So probably just we need more context. Guys, uh, do you have another with assume? Uh, I assume that you are clear about all the instruction. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, sounds all right. So remember that assume is como dar por hecho, right? Or dar yeah. por sentado que algo está pasando. Mm -hmm. So, okay, very nice. Anybody else wants to share assume? Okay, let's go with misunderstand, guys. Vámonos con misunderstand. Um, remember, misunderstand is comprender algo mal or eh, malentender, o tener un malentendido. So, for example, like I can say, yo malentendí eh, o entendí mal a mi jefe. I misunderstood. Eh, siempre podemos usar presente, pasado, futuro con todos ellos. Eh, I misunderstood. Understood. My boss instructions, for example. So mm -hmm. I misunderstood my boss instructions and I didn't complete the report. That is something very common. I misunderstood the idea. Y yo no fui a la reunión, and I didn't go to the meeting, for example. So misunderstand is like, yo entiendo algo mal. So what do you have with misunderstand? Teacher. Yes, miss. I misunderstand the inventory will hear the next week. Mm -hmm. But here today. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's a really good example. Exactly. So I misunderstood que iba a ser, that it was going to be next week. That's so bad. Okay. Pero, I, I think it's super common. A todos nos ha pasado, right? Que entendemos algo de forma equivocada. So we misunderstand it. like a lot of things. More examples, guys? Yeah. My wife hungry with me because I had a misunderstanding. Ah, very nice. That's a really good one. So let me understand. Let's add misunderstanding. So my wife is angry at me or is mad at me because we had a misunderstanding. Okay, very nice. Really good example. Okay. Uh, let's go with insured. Insured no es la, lo que toman los babies, right? <laughs> so insured is asegurarse, or maybe insured, I think. Okay, so um, asegurarse de algo. All right, what example do you have with insured, guys? The staff mm -hmm. ensure that the products arrive in good condition to Print. Ah, very nice. So the staff uh, ensures 
that the products are right to the clients in good conditions or very nice. Okay. Do you have more examples with insurance? Mm -hmm. I like to ensure that my work is fine. I work to ensure. I like to ensure. Ensure. I would like to ensure. Okay. Um, grammatically talking is fine. I, I would like to ensure. Quizás solamente agreguemos eh, I would like to ensure you, que como me gustaría asegurarte. I would like to ensure you my, my job is fine or my work is fine. Mm -hmm. Quizás solamente nos faltaría el you right there. Uh, but it's all Chef. right. Yes, Damaris? Uh, I make sure to move forwards. I, can you say that again, please? Can you repeat? I make sure to move Forward. Como yo me aseguro de seguir adelante. Ajá, ajá. Mm, ok. Eh, yo me Solo... aseguro de avanzar, más o menos. Ok. Every day. Mm -hmm. Ok. Actually, it's not bad. Solo que no estamos utilizando la palabra ensure. Por lo general, con el ensure, eh, es como aseguro o alguien o algo. Eh, so, I can say, for example, I... I would like, I would like to ensure, I would like to ensure, or I would like to ensure you that I am moving forward. So I am moving forward. So um, that's the one. Creo que usted tenía, I made sure. Lo que está súper bien, solo que para utilizar la palabra ensure, no necesitamos make. So I would like to ensure you that I'm moving forward or, um, yeah, normalmente va después eh, un you or un that. Ponemos el que. Do you have more examples, guys, with ensure? Sí, sure. Mm -hmm. Me. I yes. ensure Me. to send, I ensure to send an email for my boss. Okay, so I ensured, I ensured that I will send the email to my boss or that I sent the email to my boss. Yeah, sounds good, okay. sounds good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds really nice. Okay, guys, deadline. What do you have with deadline? This is the most important word, I think, for everybody. So what do you have with deadline? I have a de deadline for finish, to the, for finish the report. Okay, I have a deadline to finish the report. Yes. Guys, more examples with deadline. I take to pay my credit card 22 May because he is the deadline. Mm -hmm. Very nice. There we go. That's the deadline. Anybody else? Okay, uh, in mistakes, I think that you already got what mistakes are, right? That are related to errors and things that we do. Okay, guys, so talking a little bit about instructions, eh, vamos a trabajar, we are, like, we are going to try to use, of course, todas esas palabras, like in every single day, because eh, si no lo practicamos, guys, se nos van a olvidar. That's like a fact. But uh, this unit, or today's session, está dedicada, de hecho, a dar instrucciones y direcciones. So, um, vamos a dar direcciones e instrucciones. <laughs> Give me just a moment. Um, so, guys, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. Lo que vamos a hacer, guys, what we're going to do is we are going to teach we're going to teach how, all right? So, todos, todos son muy buenos en algo. Everybody has different abilities here. Uh, unos pueden crear cosas. Other people are really nice dealing with customers, I'm sure. 
other people are good with numbers, etc. So, guys, vamos a crear una pequeña conversación. Ah, perdón, a little presentation. We're going to make a short presentation. Make a short presentation. And um, so you can use PowerPoint, pero lo vamos a hacer en grupos. We're going to do it in groups. And I want you to teach us how to do something. So, uh, van a enseñarnos, guys, cómo, dar, um, cómo hacer algo, how to do something, de la forma más clara, aplicando todo lo que acabamos de ver. Number one, donación, be clear and specific, give examples, right? So, imagínense que nos están explicando a, cómo hacer algo from your office. No sé si alguna vez les ha tocado dar inducción, guys. Y les toca explicar cómo hacer algo. So, that is exactly what we're going to do. Um, for example, si le, eh, I'm going to take Damaris because es la persona que se me ocurre in this moment. Imagínense que Damaris is going to give an induction y nos va a explicar cómo hacer un mojito porque es parte de su trabajo. <laughs> so es como lo más claro, you know, lo más específico que se pueda, right? And then you're going to present it. Uh, pero lo vamos a presentar again in groups. So, escojan un tema súper corto, algo que ustedes dominen, algo que ustedes sepan hacer, y ustedes nos explican cómo hacerlo también. Um, ¿qué, ¿Qué actividad se les ocurre? So, let's take a look. For example, guys, ¿qué pueden hacer? What are your best abilities? How to repair a car. How to repair what? What do I want to say? Uh, vaya, pero seamos más específicos porque eso está súper nice, pero súper complicado, too. <ríe> so, Hector, ¿qué específicamente nos puede enseñar en cinco minutos? O en two minutes. First, I put the scanner for uh, give me a call en ah, second. Uh -huh. Second, okay, I... hagámoslo, hagámoslo más cortito porque repair está como bien amplio. Vaya, pero podemos hacerlo. How to scan your card. Y nos explica paso a paso dónde se conecta, dónde se mide, qué se hace, cómo se leen códigos. I mean, y nos da un par de ejemplos. I think that can work, for example. So, but of course, busquemos un tema que los del grupo manejen también para que no sea super complicated for them to explain. So it can be like this, how to scan your card, right? Um, busquen temas en común, right? Look for topics you have in common para que nos puedan explicar un poquito how to do some things. Um, let me take a look. Okay, and of course, lo vamos a presentar, right? Obviously, we're gonna present. Um, Abigail, Georgina, Hector, and Damaris, nos quedamos acá. Guys, los demás vamos al grupo, please. Let's go to the group a moment eh, para que practiquemos a little bit. Eh, si ustedes pueden encontrar una foto, um, a picture sin derechos reservados que podamos ver, you know, o que nos puedan presentar para no escribir, we are not going to write it. Guys, son casi van para intermedio, así que no vamos a escribir letras. Busquen tal vez un dibujo, dos dibujos. Eh, que represente el tema y nos explican cómo hacer algo, right? How to do something in two minutes. So, para esto, guys, como grupo, as a group, we are going to make a short presentation. Pueden utilizar, you can use PowerPoint, you can use Word, whatever works for you. Uh, tienen máximo, like two minutes, two minutes max to present. Todos van a hablar, everybody, everyone will participate and look for common topics. Common topics. Busquen un tema súper delimitado, súper corto, guys, que ustedes nos puedan explicar cómo hacer. For example, um, I don't know, cómo hacer la declaración del IVA, that is important. Um, como I don't know, guys, acá tenemos tanto, tanto talento. We have a lot of talent, right? ¿Cómo hacer el alcohol gel? Ayer escuché que teníamos una farmacéutica. 
Oh, do we? Ok. Ah, sí, no le vamos a pedir que nos explique hacer cosas malas, but <laughs> alcohol, alcohol gel, I think, works. Sanitizer, right? Or, or, ¿alguien puede hacer jabón, guys? Can anybody make soap? Or, can you make, ¿qué es lo otro? Big vapor rub. Creo que el big, va, el big vaporu, que le llamamos Big Vapor Rub. Ay, ¿qué? Si alguien puede hacerlo, guys, explíquenos los pasos. Tell us the steps, lo más simple, lo más claro, lo más específico you can. Y si hay vocabulario nuevo que creen que no vamos a comprender, díganos también qué significa, right? That's easier. So, guys, uh, let's get started. Tenemos más o menos 10, 15 minutos para prepararlo. 10, 15 minutes, pónganse de acuerdo con el tema, and we get it started. So Hector, Demaris, Georgina, Abigail, quédense por acá, guys, stay here. Guys, los demás, vamos a los grupos, please, go to your groups. Go to your groups. Go to your groups. Guys, les dejo de compartir para que ustedes puedan tomar eh, si tienen, están en la computadora, so, puedan presentar su pantalla. So you can present your screen. Hello. Hola, hola, hello. Hello. ¿Me escucha? Sí, sí. Ah, ok. Pensé que no se me escuchaba. Sí, sí, se le escucha. Ok. Eh, ¿Quién más? No sé qué. ¿Quién más está? Quiero ver. Kenia, está creo. Una... Pero tiene oyente. Julio César, Salvador Ernesto. No sé, a lo mejor no están conectados todavía. Hola, hola. Mm, probably they are no Hector is here. So... No, no worries, that's fine. So Salvador, Kenya, uh, Cesar, si están por ahí para que se unan a los grupos tú, so you can join your groups. Um, me imagino que están por acá. Oh, wait. Georgina se me fue. Dime un segundo, guys. I'm just so happy. Okay, okay. Please go ahead. Sorry. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Ok, si quiere pensemos en qué podríamos hacer para poder para presentation. Ajá, eso estaba pensando usted. No sé si, si tiene alguna sugerencia usted. Ah, yo pensaba como, por ejemplo, es algo sencillo como cambiar una llanta. Teacher. Ay, bueno. Nice. Es sencillo y tiene poco paz. Nice. <ríe> y el sí. vocabulario está bien bonito. Ya. Yeah. ¿Hay alguien que sepa los pasos acá para que nos ayude? Alguien que sepa cambiar la llanta. <ríe> no tenemos chicos aquí en el grupo. Sí, pues. Ah, bien, sí, hay sí. varios. Hello. ¿Hay alguien ahí que sepa cambiar llantas? Porque yo solo sé que utilizan una mica. Eh, una como quita, buscaría cómo se llama la herramienta para quitar las tuerquitas levantar el carro destornillar 
quitar la llanta. Hola, hola, Hello. se me está yendo la señal. Se me está yendo la señal a mí. Lo siento. Ok, no problema. Es como cambiar una llanta de automóvil, ¿no? ¿eh? Yes, ¿les parece? Sí, perfecto. Está bien. Héctor, ¿tiene experiencia en ello? Un poco, solamente que las herramientas para cambiar eso no, no, no las conozco muy bien. Como yo conozco, yo... Ah, una llave, que... la llave de estrella y la mica, que son las dos que se utilizan. Ajá, no solo la, el vocabulario en inglés, si no lo conozco. Ah, pero eso lo podemos buscar en el diccionario, digo yo. Va. Déjeme buscar sí, está bien. a la mano el diccionario. Ok, ya tengo aquí el diccionario. Ok. Fíjense que, bueno, no sé, ¿verdad? <coughs> A nadie le gusta empezar su día de esta manera. Sin embargo, es algo bastante normal. Así que no entres en pánico. Mi nombre es Gabriel Salazar. Esto es autodinámico. Y en este episodio de Cooper Consejos te voy a enseñar a cambiar una llanta. Paso número uno, estaciona tu auto en un lugar seguro. En el mejor de los casos, encontrarás tu llanta ponchada saliendo de tu casa o tu cine. Saliste por la mañana y tienes esta sorpresa. Una magnífica llanta ponchada. Yay, no te preocupes, aquí te voy a explicar lo que necesitas para no llegar tan tarde al trabajo. ¿Vas a necesitar tu gato? No, ese gato no. Ahora sí, tu gato, tu crucete y por supuesto tu llanta de refacción. Toma el gato y ponlo debajo. Por ahí no los dientes donde se encargan. Levántalo un poco y aplasta los pilos o tornillos como le llamas. Listo. Levanta el carro hasta que quepa la llanta. Hola. Encontraron, ¿cómo se llama? Y guárdalos todos juntos para que no te pase como a mí. Crucete, me aparece a mí. Crucete es como la... Como... La, la otra cosita, la que va abajo, es la que conocemos por mica, ¿va? O gato. Sí, ese es el Jack. ¿Cómo? Jack, Jack, en inglés. Alguien va a presentar, alguien va a hacer la presentación. Mm. Fíjense que yo tenía una, no sé si les parece. La va a compartir. Pero, pero no sé que como era del tema, de otro tema, pero si no, pues. Hagamos sustitución. Ah, otro tema, pero eh, para hacerlo ahorita, la presentación tenía usted. Ajá. Ah, si no sí. la comparte, la podemos ver. Pero es de... 
Este, pero no puedo, eh, bueno, lo tengo en el cuaderno. Con lo que le tomo una foto. Entonces aquí te voy explicando que hay que para no llegar tan tarde al trabajo. Vas a necesitar tu gato. No, ese gato no. Ahora sí, tu gato. Tú cruzaste por supuesto y antes de reflexión. Toma el gato y ponlo debajo. Por ahí, por lo mismo, entonces se cae. Levántalo un poco y apretan los pibos. Otro no es como le llamas. Listo. Levanta el carro hasta que quepa la llanta de refacción. Retira los pibos y guárdalos todos juntos para que no te pase como a mí, que ya te lo digo. Ahora sí, vamos a poner la llanta. Le voy a enseñar a tener sus piernas para que no te sea tan pesado. Enrosca los pibos con el carro y después los apuntas. Yo sé que hay un pan de agua. Recuerda hacerlo en diagonal para que no te queden chuecos. Saliste por la mañana y tienes esta sorpresa. Una magnífica llanta pochada. Yay, yeah, no te preocupes. Te voy a explicar lo que necesitas para no llegar tan tarde al trabajo. ¿Vas a necesitar tu gato? No, ese gato no. Ahora sí, tu gato. Tu crucete, por supuesto, tu llanta de refacción. Toma el gato y ponlo debajo. Por ahí hay unos dientes donde se encaja. Levántalo un poco y aflota los pibos. Otro no es como lo llamas. Listo. Levanta el carro hasta que quepa la llanta de refacción. Retira los virlos y guárdalos todos juntos para que no te pase como a mí, que ya perdí uno. Ahora sí, vamos a poner la llanta. Le voy a salir a pegar sus piernas para que no te sea tan pesado. Enrosca los pibos con tu mano y dices, no es en los apuntas. Tú se de manera diagonal. hacerlo en diagonal para que no te queden chuecos. Saliste por la mañana y tienes esta sorpresa, una magnífica llanta ponchada. Yay, yeah, no te preocupes, aquí te voy a explicar lo que necesitas para no llegar tan tarde al trabajo. Vas a necesitar tu gato. No, ese gato no. Ahora sí, tu gato, tu crucete y por supuesto tu llanta de refacción. Toma el gato y ponlo debajo. Por ahí tiene unos dientes donde se encaja. Levántalo un poco y afloja los tipos. Otro no es como le llamas. Listo. Levanta el carro hasta que quema la llanta de refacción. Retira los virlos y guarda los codos juntos para que no te pase tu amigo. Y ya perdí un. Pueden ver la imagen. No sé si me escuchan o no sé si les parece. Ahorita la revisamos. Salud. Sí, está bien. Ahorita creo que solo tendríamos que hacerla en, en PowerPoint. Sí, eh, si el vocabulario está malo, me corrigen porque no sé si... Sorry, así hacer. Aquí está ya la imagen, no sé si les parece bien, ya solo la pasamos. No sé si cambio. No sé si alguien más está haciendo algo. 
¿Ese es el procedimiento del cambiar la llanta o de algo más? No, sí. ese es el procedimiento. Sí. O, o cuál, ¿de cuál hablan? No sé si del que yo acabo de ajá. enviar. Sí, sí. sí, sí. No, ajá, es el. Ok. Dice tu conecte a Bluetooth. Así es. Pero no sé, no sé. Está... Sí. Ahí sí, podríamos poner. No. Para no llegar tan tarde al trabajo. Vas a necesitar tu gato. No, ese gato no. Ahora sí, tu gato. Tu presente, por supuesto, y alta refacción. Toma el gato, así como lo de bajo. Por ahí, por unos dientes, todo ese gato. Levántalo un poco y ya te está limpio. Si no, no es como le gusta. Listo. Levanta el carro hasta que quepa la llanta de refacción. No se oye nada, no se oye nada. Guárdanos todos juntos para que no te pase como a mí, que ya te lo digo. Ahora sí, vamos a poner allá. Puedes ayudarte de tus piernas para que no te sea tan pesado. Entonces, ¿qué nos vamos a poner? Recuerda hacerlo en diagonal para que no te quede chueco. Saliste por la mañana y tienes esta sorpresa, una magnífica llanta ponchada. Yay, no te preocupes, aquí te voy a explicar lo que necesitas para no llegar tan tarde al trabajo. Vas a necesitar tu gato. No, ese gato no. Ahora sí, tu gato, tu presente y por supuesto tu llanta de refacción. Toma el gato y ponlo debajo. Por ahí tiene unos dientes donde se encaja. Levántalo un poco y afloja los tipos. O tornillos como le llamas. Listo. Levanta el carro hasta que quepa la llanta. Alguien más está haciendo algo. Y guarda los... No, yo estoy leyendo lo que dicen. Pero no lo si tienen dudas, me preguntan. Por... Sí, por ejemplo, en la primera línea Vaya. me dice que... ¿Qué quiere decir? Tú conectes Bluetooth. No, no estamos haciendo la de cambio de llanta, entonces. Perdón, no sé si solo yo escucho la interferencia. Porque no entiendo nada. Sí, que hay una interferencia, no sé, de un video. Ok. Vaya, entonces, ¿de qué es el procedimiento entonces? Go to scan the car. ¿En español? ¿Cómo escanear, cómo escanear un carro? Ah, ¿cómo escanear un carro? Ok. Entonces dice, to connect it a Bluetooth. Con la dos dice ahí. Connect. Connect. No, no sé si anda computadora o, o no sé cómo se llama ese aparato. Scanner. Ah, tú conectas el Bluetooth. De scanner. Ah, correcto, scanner. Ajá, entonces ahí sería tú conectas el scanner. Correcto. Y sería tú conectas el scanner. ¿Cómo sería tú? Computer, the automobile computer. Sería conectar el, el, el escáner a la computadora del vehículo, del automóvil. Sí. Tu conexión. Sí, como es un Bluetooth, es un conector. Second, choose the, the Cars Brands. La marca del carro, ¿va? Cars Brands. Sería la selecta, car, porque creo que ya le da las opciones. Ajá, ah, choose o select, correcto. O elegir Ajá. o seleccionar el ah, de okay. brand, de car, brands, la, la marca del car, brand, la brand mar es marca. The brand cars, entonces. Ajá. The brand cars. Dice, to read okay. the code. To read the code, uh -huh. to clean the code, y to start the car, y por último, uh, to ensure the, que no haya códigos, para que, que no haya algún otro código. Pero no sé si está bien el, lo que es el, no sé si está bien. Sí, quizás en la primera, más, yo más, solamente, solamente en la primera. Yo le agregaría quizás tu conecta scanner, the computer, the car computer. To a car. 
Come on. Hi, ah. guys. So, welcome back. Hi, teacher. Guys, what happened? Pensé que nos iban a enseñar a cambiar llantas. <laughs> Igual que yo me perdí. <laughs> yo también, teacher. Pero luego el compañero empezó a trabajar y, y nos parece también buena idea. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we was like, wait, and the, the, where is the tire? <laughs> no problem, sounds good. Oh, veo por acá que está presentando, which is right. Intente darnos detalles. Try to just give us details. Uh, it says here to connect to the Bluetooth. Oh, no. the, the Bluetooth, es que no lo escribí bien. No sé si se escribe. Ah, to connect to the Bluetooth. Sí, connector. Okay. Sí, yo el, escáner, el, escáner, el escáner tiene un, Bluetooth, un conector de Bluetooth, ¿verdad? Que se wow. conecta para que el código. Ah, ok. Nice. Exactly. So, quizás como darnos un poquito más de detalles, like um, what you can do if you don't find, if the, for example, if the car is too old and the Bluetooth, uh, you know, uh, plug is not working, I don't know. So, nos podría quizás dar un poquito más de detalles, like what to do here, examples, you know, but nice, no, sounds really good. Creo que también el otro equipo, um, one of the groups estaba trabajando en cómo armar aviones, right? Which sounds really nice. Y nos falta el otro también. Okay, guys, look, um, to make it a little bit nicer, vamos a presentarlo on Monday. We're going to be presenting this by Monday eh, con los mismos grupos. Give me one moment, les voy a tomar captura de los grupos. Uh, and guys, con los mismos que estamos ahorita, um, you know, pueden buscar una foto, like, una que no tenga derecho reservado para que no tengamos mayores problemas y lo presentamos on Monday. We're going to be like presenting that one on Monday. Ya les voy a compartir la fotito para que vean con quién, eh, quiénes más están en su grupo, right? Por si alguien tuvo algún problema y no pudo participar, they can definitely eh, join you later on. All right. Because of the time, guys, uh, so we're going to be finishing today's session. Y quedamos pendientes para Monday. Solo me regalan confirmación que estamos acá. Eh, Abigail, no sé si Abigail está ahí. Abigail is here. Un segundo. Give me just a moment here. Eso, Andrea. Blanca está por aquí. Georgina was here, Hector too, Mr. Sanchez, um, sí, Mr. Sanchez está ahí, Mr. Narváez, está su es tocayo. Hey, hello, hello, hello Mr. Narváez, thank you, okay, thank you so much, uh, Ezequiel, yes, yes, Mr. Juanjo too, Julio presente, Cesar presente. too, Kenia there, thank you so much, Kevin okay, no lo he visto, Lady no, Mauricio, no es Salvador, Sandra Bonilla, Abigail Bonilla está por acá. Abigail, Abigail, no, Abigail, Abigail, no, she isn't. Michelle isn't either. Okay, yes, then we have you. Dinora. Hey, Stephanie, Present hi there. Thank you. I'm sorry, I haven't heard you. And the max. Okay. Here, okay. teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So, presentamos on Monday. We're going to be presenting this on Monday, right? Eh, para que lo practiquen el fin de semana o tengan un par de minutitos para practicarlo. And intenten darnos eh, siempre detalles, right? No se queden eh, solo con una expresión. Intenten darnos ejemplos o extra recommendations, extra information. Pueden utilizar lo que hemos revisado de be allowed to, right? Y pueden usar más expresiones. Gracias a todos por estar acá. Gracias por hacer el esfuerzo de conectarse, guys. En día viernes. I know the body knows it. <laughs> Espero que vayan a descansar, guys. Sleep well. Have a really nice weekend. And see you on Monday, guys. See you Monday. Bye, bye. See you Monday, see teacher. See you. Thank you, teacher. Descansen, guys. Bye. Sleep well. Bye, bye. See you. Bye, see bye, teacher. Bye, guys. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Mm, okay.
Hai.